In the past, I've tried all kinds of audio recording softwares like the OBS and Adobe Audition just to mention a few. Believe me, it was a life-defining moment for me when I discovered that I could, rec I could actually record my podcast vocals with FL Studio and the sound outputs will be next to none. And uh, it will also give you that cadence that you experience from listening to a radio station transmitting from one of the advanced countries like the UK, US, and Canada. FL Studio is actually the best for me because of its automation features and it can easily speed up your sound production. Knowing fully well that it could also be used for music production. Above all, when you are using FL Studio for the first time, don't let the interface get you overwhelmed. Our focus today is just to record vocals and uh, to show you how to connect your mic to the FL Studio. What you need to do is to move to, to, to move down to the audio settings by clicking on option and you scroll down to audio settings. Immediately after you click on audio settings, then in the new interface, you will see varieties of option. On the first line, you leave the device option as FL Studio ASIO and let your sample rate be 48,000 and reduce the buffer length to 256. Thereafter, you, you select your output selection. Maybe for your, for your output, you can make it your headphone and uh, for your input, you make it your external mic. The reason why I would advise you make your output, your, your headphone, is just so that you can monitor the modulations and avoid any form of reverberation while recording. Yeah, immediately after that, move back to the FL, FL Studio interface. At the FL Studio interface, maybe on the first, tra on, on the first track, you, you right-click. When you right-click, you scroll down to your track mode. Thereafter, you branch out to audio track. This will help you or we enable you to be able to give you the option, I mean, to be able to label your track list. Just like, for example, in this particular contest, the number one track is going to be for our mic. Maybe other tracks could be for background music or any other sound that we intend to use. Thereafter, you click on the mixer Immediately after you click on the mixer, then you branch out to the mix master. And for a start, the mix master is always, the mix master's uh, option is always on none. So you change it from none to your mic selection. As soon as you do that, when you, when you speak into your mic, you'll be able to hear yourself. And to record, you come here, you, cl you click on the record button and the option pops up to either select the Edison audio recorder or some other options. In this contest, I will advise you to click on the Edison audio recorders. This will give you the option to edit and transfer your audio back to the audio track. And there you have it, finally you have been able to see the walkthrough so far. And uh, if you love the cadence of my voice, feel free to subscribe and switch on your notification button as I show you the plugins I use to make it possible in my next tutorial. I can't wait to hear from you. Good luck.